Apparently, it still is. Seen as at Guam in the Marianas, where British warships, including HMS King George V, had arrived on their way to join in breaking up Japanese power in the Pacific. The American Commander-in-Chief, Admiral Nimitz, went aboard the KG-5 to inspect the ship's company. Obviously, no commander can have too many ships in his sphere of action. Obviously, too, Nimitz knew what powerful aid the Royal Navy had sent and was sending to the Pacific. But there had been ignorant and malicious talk both in the States and in Britain. And he made a special point of finally clearing the air after being introduced by the captain. Uh, the the commander-in-chief of the Pacific Fleet, Admiral Nimitz, is kind enough to talk to us for a few minutes this morning. Ship's company, stand up, ease. Stand, eat it. Before the Pacific fleet was brought into action, you may remember that there were newspaper stories Low deck speculation argument that the Americans did not want the British fleet to come into the Pacific, that we wanted to carry this war on as a private war. As a person of some responsibility in the Pacific, I assure you those statements were without foundation. From the very beginning, we welcomed your coming and we welcomed your help and we continue to welcome your help. Hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! 